hello everyone has many requests so i want to start some videos to learn about how the power supply work how the main board work check on one by one for now we're going to start talking about the power supply how the power supply works what do we know about the tv this is the back of the tv we have the power supply we have the main board this is the general boards that you see in most newer TVs. We have the cheek on board and the bottom for the LED TV or in the top for the LCD TVs. Cheek on. And uh, we have the, the cables that go into the LEDs backlight. Power supply given the voltage to the main board the main board is given the voltage and uh, the data to the chicon chicon given the voltage and data to the lcd screen sample design we're going to talk uh, about it little by little so for now we're going to talk about the power supply we're going to start from scratch we're going to talk about the components two this is a power supply there is a lot of stuff here and here like at the first we're going to understand how the power supply works simple things we're going to talk about the linear if we understand the linear we understand 50 percent of the power supply i know the linear is old but it will make the stuff simple for you to understand and that will help us to jump to the switching power supply, the newer power supply. So what the power supply do? The power supply is taking one voltage and make it to other voltage. It can make like step up, like take a small voltage and make it a big voltage, or can take a big voltage and make it small. 110 volt AC. This 110, we need a 5 volt DC. This is AC, and we want DC. The other side of the board, we have something that work with the 5 volt DC. How we can transfer this one to this one? We are going to use a transformer. So we have one coil here. The other side we're going to have another coil the primary and secondary side so here we're going to have a 5 volt AC we still at this point we still talk about the AC from here what's 110 volt AC what's that mean it's mean the voltage is this is zero. The wave is go up and down. The electricity flow this side in this period of the time, and it flow other side in this period of the time. This is T1. This is T2. This is T1 or T2 here when it's go the other side, and this is T1. How we make this wave to make it like a line? don't need this part the negative part of the wave we need to take it out we're going to use a diode as you know about the diode it's let the electricity flow one side but doesn't go to the other side that's why we have like arrow this side and we have like a bar to block the electricity from the other side this is the symbol of the diet so the electricity here is flow good that's the T1 but when the electricity try to to go other direction T2 the diode is stop it so no more T2 here 
what are we going to have in this side? We're going to have a wave like this. So just we're going to take this part of the wave. What are we going to have? This side, like this. So the other part of the wave is gone. This is very simple linear. There is a big gap here. This is T2. Is a big gap that's the voltage equals zero here. And here we are not going to have a DC. We're going to have like flashing to make this gap like smaller. We are going to need something to hold the electricity and keep going down till it reach the other wave. What we need is the capacitor. This is the negative side of the capacitor. The capacitor, in this period of the time, from here to here, the capacitor starts charge, like a battery. It's charging, charging, till it get the maximum charge at this point. When the diode stop the, the voltage flow the other direction, the capacitor start discharging but it's going to discharge slower than the, the wires so it's going to start discharge slow like this then it's going to charge so here slow when it's before it reach zero then the electricity start going the other side is a reach this point and charge a little bit then it's and this keep going like that Charge, discharge, but when it discharges, take a long time to discharge. It's not like the coil. The coil is discharge quick. So here, this, we're going to have the electricity like this. It doesn't go to zero, but you still have... You still have a, a little big gap between the top of the wave and the bottom of the wave. This DC here, it will work. You can use it and power a lot of devices. This is the first, like the first power supply, they work like this. By the time they come more ICs, ICs, MOSFETs, this stuff is require like a stable voltage. They don't like this, this little uh, gap between the top and the bottom wave. It start uh, creating the heat inside the, the chip and causing the chip to go bad. So they want to fix this problem, what they did. So they get the 10 volt. Let's fix this problem here with this one. So this is 10 volt AC. I, I want you to remember this. The transformer always work with the AC. The transformer never work with the DC voltage. The transformer work from positive voltage to zero. Keep going up and down. Or it's work with the from positive to the negative. Like the wave is go from the top, the positive side to the negative. Or even it work with the, the positive to zero. That's how the transformer work. And I want you to remember this information because we're going to use it to understand the switching power supply. In this part, we want to fix this gap here between the top and the bottom of the wave to be more smaller. To do that, there is a trick to flip this wave that the, di the this diode stop them. We want beside to just stop them. We want to flip them the other side. What for that? What do you use? Do you use a rectify bridge? Big chip like this with the four pins. There is a four diode inside it. 
or something like this. There is a four diodes. So, they use a diode like this. Then the other diodes. So this is positive side, this is a negative side, and this is you can find a wave like this and a wave like this. That's the symbols you find in the big uh, rectifier bridge. What does rectifier bridge do? Well, here in the output of the rectifier we're going to find the wave is going to become like this. So here, when the electricity flow, when the voltages flow this direction, it's going to go here, let's go to this diode, let's go up, and let's go here. So that's the T1, the, the period time number one, so the electricity flow this side. When the electricity flow the other direction, it means it's go. Now the electricity going this way, but in the T2 the electricity go this way. The voltage keep flowing like this. So this is a T1, this is a T2. So in the T2 time. The voltage is going to go from this diode, not from here. It's going to go from this diode. It's going to go up and it's going to go to the same point. We're going to have the wave like this. This is T2. And keep going like this. Wave close to wave. What's the difference between, one and the, between this one and this one? Here we have a period of the time that's the electricity, the, the voltage is a zero. Here we have another wave. And we are going to put a capacitor here. On this capacitor, we're going to find what this capacitor is going to do. The same thing. So the capacitor start charging until it reach the maximum charge. When the wave all the way up, capacitor full charge. When the electric, when the voltage start going down, the capacitor start discharge slow. So here we're gonna have the the. The voltage is going to be like this. It's very close to the one straight line. That's what we want. We want something very close to the straight line. And here we have 5 volt DC. So, now we understand how we go from 110 AC to 5 volt DC using one diode or using four diode, the rectify bridge. So I'm very sure now when you hear the rectify bridge, you're going to remember this wave, flipping the wave up to create a very close to straight line. So the first video is done, temple uh, linear power supply next video is going to be about the switching power supply we're going to start talking about them we can't cover them in one video it's, yeah i'm sure in this video i have a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that i didn't cover or is i didn't explain it right so if you have any questions just leave it in the comment and uh, the next video i'm going to try to answer so i will see you again in the next video